I can't believe this. My dad is so lucky. I just found myself a nice kind of 1700s ring. I'm really happy with it. He just pulls out a 30 BC Roman silver coin. Once in a lifetime find. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an insane video for you all. I'm out, it is a Sunday, it is lovely weather, it's really mild for the start of February. It's raining slightly but it's actually quite refreshing because it's, it's pretty hot, it's about 12 degrees and for February that is it's quite tropical actually. And today we're detecting on a rather big field, it's probably about 50, 60 acres and we are about a mile away from a Roman fort. It's going to be insane. People have done this field before, club digs a few years ago, and they found loads. And in some of the fields next to it, there's been gold staters. Literally in this field, about 10 metres away from me, there's been about two gold staters found. So it's going to be amazing. I'm very, very excited. Just getting ready now. We've only got the morning, sadly, today, because my dad is going to watch the Arsenal Liverpool game, which is a bit selfish of him, really, because I kind of want to stay here, because I feel like I'm going to get absolutely loads this morning. And also, I want to say thank you very much to Alan from the NCMD for giving me this lovely hat. It fits perfectly, and hopefully it will bring me some luck on the Roman today. Let's get out of there. Usually when we start detecting, my dad and I walk off for the first 15, 20 minutes just to get a feel of the field. But we're sticking together now because we've only got the morning and I've had to call him over already about 10 minutes in because I found something rather interesting. I picked it up, but I dropped it again just in case it was something really special. But you can see just down there, it's got a really odd shape to it. I think it's some sort of mount or potential brooch. I'm not sure how old it is. It looks very green though and it looks old. But I'm not exactly sure how old. You can see they've got the little mounts on the back. Right, I'll give it a clean up and I'll come in on a closer camera but it's definitely interesting and definitely old, whatever it is. Not really sure what that is but it's very interesting. You can see it's got the little like clips on the back. I wouldn't say it's too old, maybe 300 years old, 400 years old. But still, very interesting. Never found anything like it. It's probably a belt mount or some sort of clip, decoration on a purse. It's interesting and it's definitely old though, so I'll take it any day. Got a great signal here. It's an 86. It's clean. It should be a coin all day long. And if it is a Roman coin then it would be a big one, which would be very, very nice, but it's right there. Just want to flick out a nice Roman coin. Oh, I think I saw it. Oh, look at that. It's not a Roman coin, but we've just got a normal old mill coin. It's very crusty, though. Not much on that, but it might clean up. But I'd say it's a Georgia second half penny. Little non-dug example just up there. Um, it would have looked like that back in the day, probably 1770s there and thereabouts. But it's a nice coin, shows you've got lots of age here. I'll take it any day. This is really interesting, guys. My dad just came over with this. And it looks like, almost like an earring. I think it is. But this side, you know, it's nice silver. But on this side, look. I think there's some it's like rose gold there, some like flowers, and I thought that was going to be a hallmark, but it's not, it's just like a little dent, but they're like rose gold little flowers, but I'm not sure, it's really interesting, I can't tell if it's old or not, I don't think it's that old, because um, the flowers are so, so detailed, and it looks relatively modern, but still could be about 50 years old, but I'm not sure, I think it might be an earring. I'm not sure because it is, it's quite light, but then it could be hollow. I'm really not sure though. Hopefully I'll have an ID though. Really interesting though, but we've potentially got gold already. That is awesome. I've got a really kind of interesting signal here. It's about, let me find it. It's an 89 now, which is actually reassured by itself because it was like a 75. It was quite scratchy, but because we're on 
uh, kind of Roman area. Lots of the signals can't quite irony, and the field is very, very noisy. For those of you who are watching who've been on a Roman field, I'm sure you'll know what I mean. It's really noisy. There's lots of um, iron noises. So I dug it. It was really scratchy, and now I dug it out, and it's improved a lot. And the fact it's come to an 89 makes you think it will be a coin or something round like that. And it's just in the bottom of the hole. So if it's if it's really windy, because it is very windy right now. Oh oh oh! It's just there. That looks like silver. And the fact that it was an 89. Oh, I've just scrapped. Oh, it's a button, isn't it? Is it a button? Oh, it's a button. How was that an 89? That is so annoying. Just an old pewter button, still, 1700s. At least it's not junk, but oh, I thought that was a silver coin. Look at this, guys. My dad has just found a beehive thimble, or part of one. So you can see, got all the holes there, and it's very, very green, and the holes aren't very organised, so it's clearly been handmade. And so it's going to be a beehive thimble, which is a really old kind of 17th to the kind of 15th century thimbles, which are very, very nice. It could be one where the top has purposely been cut off, so for like a tailor, but I don't think it is because it's quite, it's clearly been hit by something as it's not perfectly cut. Like you can see like there's um, sewing tailor's rings, they're called, which is literally like ex this exact shape, but without a top. But I think it's not been perfectly cut off. So I think it's just going to be a normal thimble without the top, which is awesome. Probably 16th century, that. Wicked. Two interesting finds here. The left by my dad, which I don't know. It's a bit weird. It looks like an old bell, to be honest. Not a crotal bell. But you've got a massive, thick loop here, which is kind of telling me it's quite old, but then it doesn't look too old when you look at it like that. But I think maybe 17, 1800s. Pretty strange. And here, I think I've got myself a piece of trench art. So it just looks like a bullet from this side. But look, it's been perfectly cut in half. And it was such an amazing signal. I saw this end. I thought it might have been a strap end or something. And I saw that and I was a bit confused, to be honest. But yeah, part of it's just been perfectly cut off. So I probably wouldn't a bit of trench art. Where in kind of World War II, usually World War II, sometimes World War I, they would, in the front lines, they if they were bored, they're waiting for attack or something, they would get old bullets or coins and they'd cut them in certain ways ways to certain, like make a plane, for example. I found one of those before. Or you can find, uh, my dad found an old ship half penny and it was perfectly cut so you could just see the king's head. But yeah, cool little finds. This field is producing a lot of interesting stuff. Well, we definitely know there's Roman here because I've just had the first Roman coin. Come have a look. I haven't wiped it or anything. I just flicked it out. It was a nice clean 80 and uh, it's just sitting there. Look at that. Hopefully I haven't spaded it. No. Oh, there's definitely a head on there. Oh, it looks like a decent condition one. You can just tell it's a Roman because look, it's a bit bumpy here and it's quite thick. Well, I'll get it on the closer camera and clean it up. Get in. Shame it's a bit cracked, but you can just see the figure in the middle, like that, and you can see his head pretty nicely. Look at that. You can just see the top of his head there. It's got like a little, it's got like a hair tie coming out the back. It's actually quite a nice one, but you can see his head really nicely there. That is wicked. I think I might have just scratched it there. Oh, it might, might actually be a bit of silver um, wash. So where they used to cover the kind of bronze coins in silver to kind of disguise them as the silver coins. That is awesome. Shame it's a bit cracked up here, but that is a lovely old coin. This signal here is really nice. There we go. Come down to the corner of the field now. And we are the closest we can possibly be to the Roman fort. We're probably about... 300 meters away, 400 meters away. So pretty close, very close in fact. And it's just down here in the bottom of the hole. Come on, I'd love to get another Roman coin. Or a Roman brooch, a Roman fibula brooch would be amazing. Oh, still in here. Oh. 
Oh no. That's the trouble with kind of detecting on Roman sites in any fields really. There is a whole lot of lead. I hate the stuff. <laughs> My dad has got a lovely signal here. It was a nice clean 91. Started off though really scratchy, he said, and you can see how deep it was. And he's popped out and it's improved. It's now a 91. He said, and hopefully, just give me a coin. I'd have thought it would be, but you never know, it could be a silver or a silver Roman, which a silver Roman would be amazing. I'd be quite jealous, but here we go. Oh. Oh, hold on, that's a coin, but it looks a bit, it doesn't look that perfectly round. Oh yeah, okay, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm, I'm completely off. Oh, what? Mm. Is it, is it a Roman coin? Oh no, I think it's just gonna be a mill coin. I don't know, it's a little bit too thin. Yeah, I'd just say normal old milled coin again. Covered in mud, a bit crusty, but probably another Georgia second half penny like the one we had um, early this morning. Nice, I'll take that. I had a great signal here, and I literally got my knife in, and I flipped it out because it's on the surface, and look, just a coin, just sitting there peacefully. Literally flicked it out, and look, that was staring me in the face. Oh my goodness. It's a button. Hi guys, so I had a really nice signal here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it was. I, I need to take the headphones off for this. It was a good signal. It was quite shallow. Um, I flicked it out and I saw some detailed thing, and I saw the shape of it, and it's like a Roman fibula brooch, but it's got so much detail on. I just hope it is. You can see it just there, and it looks like the exact shape. Ah, oh, please. Look at all the detail. It has to be, right? It has to be. Please, now that I've gone all crazy, it has to be. Because look, you've got the little plate there, you've got all the detail. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to get it on the smaller camera. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, okay. I can see what it is now. It's not a fibula, but it's a ring. It's a ring, and it could be a Roman ring. Oh my goodness, I thought it was a fibula so bad, but now it could be a Roman ring. And with this pattern on, right, I'm gonna get it on the smaller camera. Sadly, it's definitely not a Roman fibula brooch, but it's clearly a ring, just been very battered, snapped in half, and then bent a lot. But I don't think it's Roman, but I don't know how old it's gonna be. Maybe 16, 1700s? But still, sadly, it's not a fibula. I got so excited there. Imagine it would have been a beautiful fibula if it was like like this. But still, it's a ring, which is very cool. I don't find many rings. So I'm very happy with that, even if it's only kind of three, four hundred years old. It's a great find. There is no way. I just filmed that ring. I thought that was good. My dad has a decent signal. We're trying to find it. We were going to film it as a live one, but then we see it and it's like a little silver thing. We think, oh, it's going to be a pewter button. I get it. I wipe a bit off and it's a Roman silver coin, but it's an ancient one. Gordon, our dear friend who got us into metal detecting, found one a few years ago and it's... Um, the Emperor is, it's the husband of Cleopatra. Mark Antony, I think. Let's get this on the closer camera. This is unreal. Look at that. This coin, I'm pretty sure it's about 20 AD. That's probably wrong, but it's so early. You can see there's a boat on there. So it is a, it's a legion coin. So it was in some sort of war. Man Mark Antony, the uh, Cleopatra's husband, had the uh, different coins for different legions um, of the army, and it's such a nice one. I only know this because our go um, our friend Gordon had one, and it's it looks amazing condition. I'm not going to clean it up fully though because obviously I want to be really careful. Oh my goodness! This side there's I'm pretty sure I've got no water left. Oh look, you can see there's like an e eagle in the middle. You can see there's an eagle in the middle, and there's like two staffs. This is unreal. It's so heavy. This is... I'm lost for words. Just look at it. 
All right, I'm going to get some more water on it and then get another video because this, it wants in a lifetime find, honestly. This coin is amazing. Look at that. I'm not going to clean it up anymore because there is kind of like some stubble. It's kind of like stuck to the coin. And I'm going to get home, put it in some um, ionized water or it's deionized water. I can never remember what it is. Put it in there, let it soak for about 10, 15 minutes then get a little cotton bud on it. But it is very nice condition for a coin that's probably around 30 BC. That is beautiful. You can see the eagle there and there's some like staffs. But there's so many different variants of this coin though. But I reckon we'll get the exact one. That is stunning. Only for a morning we're detecting. Oh my goodness, this is unreal. This field is just full of surprises. Just had that insane silver Roman. And now my dad's just pulled up this. I haven't got any water left because I used it all on previous finds. But there's definitely something very nice that. You can see it's got the three little holes. And it might have been like a buckle plate or something. There's some really nice pattern in there. But I'll clean that up at home. Very interesting find. We've only got about an hour left. But hey, we've got the whole of next week on Sunday to, to get on here. And I'm sure we'll get loads more. This field is out of this world. Look at that. I've just had a lovely little thimble. This one, not as old as the previous one. But I'm not going to clean it up now because it is very, very muddy. But I'll clean it up at home for the roundup. And I'm sure it'll be looking lovely. Going to head back home now. But what an insane morning that was. Only the morning as well, about two and a half, maybe three hours. And we had so many insane things. Loads of buttons as well. But we're going to clean everything up at home, especially that Roman silver coin. And then I'll get a nice roundup for you of everything cleaned up and some positive IDs. I'll see you all back at home. What an amazing morning that was. We had some insane finds looking back at it. I'm going to start off with the artifacts and the not so good coins. Two main crusty coins here, nothing on them. That was a Georgia second half penny. Another really crusty one there. Old pound coin as well. Cashing that in at the bank. That's some sweets. Two nice thimbles here. This one's quite nice. Probably 1700s. We've got a really old one. It's maybe 15, 1600s. Little beehive thimble, which is lovely. Don't get many of those. Little lead thing there. Just had a bit of writing on, so I thought it might be interesting. This bell here, it's definitely old, maybe 1600s. It's very heavy, but I'm not really sure what it would have been. It's not a crotal bell, but it might have just been a regular old bell. Cool. Little belt mount here, leather mount. Nice bit of decoration, which is cool. And then this ring is really nice. It's probably six seventeen hundreds Georgian period. Would have been potentially a poor man's wedding ring. Because it's made out of copper. But still, it's a really nice find. Now on to the more significant artifacts. Start off with this thing here. I still don't know what this is. It almost looks very old, but then it does look quite modern at the same time. Because the silver looks quite old, but then the kind of, I think they are gold flowers on the side are kind of telling me that it isn't too old as they're very, very detailed. But it's definitely hollow because I can see the mud in there and that explains why it's so light. But next time we send a bunch of stuff to the flow in the next however long, I'll probably send it over because it's quite interesting. But just to see if it is something old, I don't think it is. I'd probably say maybe 1900s. But still, it's cool though, whatever it is. And this thing is really interesting. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I've got three options of what it might be. It's either going to be some sort of belt um, buckle plate, which is quite nice. Um, or it could be a stirrup mount because these three holes. So on the horse harness, on the stirrup, um, it would have kind of hang below and it would have been a nice bit of decoration. But I don't know if anyone knows what it is, please leave it in the comments. But it's definitely very old. Very interesting. Now on to this nice little Roman coin here. Sadly, there isn't too much detail on there. You can just make out a figure on that side, but then this side's a bit better. You can just make out the head there. It's the back of the head there, and you can kind of make out his face, but still, love a good old Roman coin. And now on to, of course, the most significant find. This beautiful, beautiful 
Legionary Denarii. So it's the modern name for a series of Roman silver denarius coins issued by Mark Antony in the kind of eastern Mediterranean during the last war of the Roman Republic from 32 to 31 BC. Such a beautiful coin. And it's actually from Legion 12. In the bottom right here, you can sort of make out an X and then there's two I's next to it. So it's Legion 12. Such a beautiful coin. You can make out a ship on this side. And it's got, you can see like the um, oars coming off it, but that is an insane coin. I would never imagine you'd find one of those on that dig. And guess what? We're going back there this Sunday, no, next Sunday, for next week's video. And we're joined by a very special guest. He's on the dais too, so hopefully he'll be able to go a bit deeper than us on the dais one. Maybe find some more of these insane Roman coins.